Okay, guys, let's welcome two of the four aces. We are joined by Dustin Johnson, the captain of four aces, and Patrick Reed. Welcome, guys. Thanks. You guys both shot three under today. I'll start with you, DJ. Tell us a little bit about your round. Yeah, it was uh, really good. Just played really solid. Hit a lot of fairways, a lot of greens. Um, you know, one, one bad hole there on a 11. Made double, but other than that, it was a really nice day. And Patrick? Yeah, it was just kind of one of those days that uh, I hit the ball decent and uh, I think the biggest thing is I missed in the right spots today and because of that I was able to have easy up and downs and you know I had a birdie look I took advantage of it and made the putt so uh, you know it was just kind of a steady day I'm, I'm glad to not be chasing so far behind after my first rounds that's for sure. You guys came off with the not so great week last week you guys are the defending champions here this week do you guys think this is a chance at redemption from last? Yeah you know uh I wouldn't really say as much of a redemption as it is just getting back to playing who we are. Uh, it's safe to say that our team didn't play the way that any of us are really capable of playing last week. And, uh, you know, when you get on a golf course like this that is as demanding as this golf course is, I feel like it just kind of brings the best out in us. It gives our focus a little bit more uh, into it, and it allows us to go out and uh, play the golf we're supposed to. And, you know, we got two more days. Hopefully we can go and do the same thing uh, the next two days and go out and have a chance to win this golf tournament uh, individually for both of us, but then at the same time have our team, uh, you know, separate ourselves from, you know, really the pack and go uh, go finish last last week and finish first this week. And DJ, just give us your thoughts on the course this week so far. Oh, this course is great. Um, lo loved it last year when we played here. Um, you know, I think it's just a really solid golf course, tee to green. It's, I mean, it's as good as you want for a golf course. It's, it's tough, but it's fair, and you got to hit good golf shots. Great, I'll kick it over to Mike. Completely opposite of last week. <laughs> Complete opposite. I played about par. I mean, I played pretty normal for me at that course. That's why I only played it once when I was on tour. <laughs> you really noted. So can you just take us through the mood of the team Sunday night? Because quite frankly, we're not used to seeing where you guys ended up, where you mad were you frustrated were you confused what can you just i was happy because i was going home <laughs> <laughs> to be honest i mean i don't think obviously we we didn't play the way we wanted to but i don't think anybody was no one was mad or i don't think he might have been yeah. but <laughs> but that's normal so uh, but no i was thrilled just because i was getting to go home for a few days patrick did you feel shocked at all well, definitely shocked of course i mean and our team's way better than the finishing last in the golf tournament. But at the same time, you know, you just kind of go to one of those golf courses that doesn't really fit your eye. And if it happens not to fit a couple of other guys on the team's eye either, I mean, you can just kind of get in one of those funks. And I think that's all it was last week is, you know, more of a funk. There's a lot of other stuff going on. Um, for me personally, with having my birthday week and having a bunch of family and friends there, you know, there's a lot of extra distractions I felt like last week on a golf course that, you couldn't have distractions. You had to go out and make a ton of birdies. And there's a reason why DJ only played it once. And uh, <laughs> just because of me, I mean, I always play. I mean, I kept on going back. And every time I went back, I loved the place. I love Greenbrier. But, man, that golf course, I've never really played that great there. So it's just kind of one of those places. Do you feel like this week could be a statement week, especially because Torque's a lot closer to you guys than a week ago? Yeah, I mean, we need to have a, we need to have a good week, obviously. Coming in here, it's a really good golf course. Um, you know, tough golf course. I think our team plays better on, on courses like this. And so, um, yeah, I mean, we want to have a good week. And, you know, obviously, we need to extend that lead a little bit. Did you, did you have to do any kind of rally cry this week with the team? Or is it just like, no, eh, you know? <laughs> the guys, <laughs> no, the guys, they all, we all work hard. And so we all come in prepared and ready to go. So I don't think there's no raw raw speeches or anything it's just go go do what you're supposed to and we'll be just fine all right thanks okay we have a special question from a citizen journalist yeah uh, <laughs> i've got a question for dj um what, okay. for, for guys watching at home what do you like to do in your free time uh, um i like to spend as much time as i can on the water Any, anything else well what anything to do with the water i'm good fishing diving <laughs> Chilling, whatever it is. Okay. Thank Hanging you. with the kids. <laughs> Thanks, Cam.
Uh, DJ, it was quite a scene for the first three holes with the former president following your group. I know he has a relationship with DeChambeau. Do you have any sort of relationship with him that, you know, sort of led to, to him following you guys like that? Yeah, I mean, I've known President Trump for quite a while. I won Doral when, you know, was there at Trump. Um, so, and, you know, he's, he's in Palm Beach, so we play a good bit of golf together. Um, so yeah, we've had a nice friendship over the years. And and also, uh, it seemed to me like your stats sort of indicate that you're, you've are you been right on the verge of getting back into the winner's circle. Do you ever come into an event like this and feel like you're kind of due, especially on a, a course this difficult? Um, I mean, I've always liked tougher golf courses. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's always fit my game better than you know the, the ones that are you know, where 25 unders went in, it's just not, it's just never really been my forte. Yes, I've, I've shot that and won, you know, on courses like that, but most of my wins are on tougher golf courses, I would, I would say. Just wanted to ask you about the difference. When you step up to the first tee at a live event um, with the president here and the music, I just want to know your mindset, like when you're ready to hit, do you block everything out? You know, there's a lot going on there. So can you just explain when you're ready to hit with all those distractions going on? I mean, to me, there's not any distractions, but the only thing that can distract me is myself. But, um, you know, whether I'm playing live, a major, PJ Tour event, whatever it is, I feel the same on the first tee always just because, you know, I want to play well. I, I mean, nerves, but it's like good nerves just because I, I want to do well. and. But yeah, I feel the same every time on the first tee. So you know when you step up to the first tee, it's going to be busy. So what do you do? Go through your normal routine and step up and try to hit the fairway. Um, to me, it doesn't matter whether it's a live event, whether there's a thousand people around or one person around. I mean, in what kind of event tournament you're playing, the goal is to go out and hit as many fairways, as many greens as possible and, and make birdies. If anything, for me, I feel like you have to get off to a faster start out at live. You only have three rounds, not four. So if you have a soft round, you're playing catch up and you're too far behind. You don't have enough holes to catch up. So out here, it feels like more of a sprint than anything else. Thank you. We have one last very important question. All right. What is your favorite Trump course you've ever played? Probably, I would have to say Doral. Yeah. I, I just like that one. I've always played well there. So my favorite one's Trump Doral. Same, it's the one I won on. Thank yeah. you. Um, Thanks, guys. Thank Have you. Tomorrow. Thanks.